hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine seven in class again today how have you been we are going to look at something on qgis we are going to show you how you can do maybe uh, carry out a particular type of um, symbology in qgis you know when you have your maybe your raster data or your vector data or however we are using a vector data in this video and then you have a particular field in your maybe attributes table that talks about them um, different things so you want to display those um, different features under that field and then you want to have them with um, different colors or maybe those values with different colors or something like that so we are going to show you how you can do just that so thanks for coming to class if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can encourage us by subscribing and if you're a returning viewer thanks for always them um, checking up on us so the application is actually enormous yours might be a different data set from what we have here however when you have the idea on how to go about it i think you're good to go so the first thing is that we need to what add the, the data we want to use which is actually vector data right good so we navigate to the folder where we have our data so we are using um, the nigerian boundary data and the state data and i think um, the local government data so we have three shape files here we click on what open then we add and we close right good now as we said earlier you can have a different data set from this however the application is actually the same so let's use this other boundary this other shape file that um, contains the different states right so let's open the attribute table to confirm that good now what we were trying to explain is that in this particular symbology which is actually a categorized them um, symbology you can see that on the attribute table we have them um, different fields right and on this particular field um, name underscore one we have the different um, states in nigeria right so we have different states in nigeria so the idea behind um, this particular type of um, symbology is for you to now have each of these states represented or each of these yeah, each of these states which is a uh, which can be each of these features under this particular field represented with different colors for um, um should i call it for a better kind of visualization right good so yours might just be a data for uh, geology or maybe something else yours might even be a data for land parcels or something else that you want to now show different um, owners or maybe different strata so the applications can be enormous right good so we now have our shape file here we have different fields and what we are interested in is what this name underscore one which is actually the field that um, changes across what across the table right so we can just okay let's minimize instead of closing so for us to be able to achieve that you can decide to use your projected or geographic whatever the case is so you just come to the, um, the layer you right click and what you go to properties or you can even double click on the layer right good so um, under the the layer properties you go to what you go to symbology and by default you see it on our word single symbol however we don't need it that way we need it under categorized right good now under the categorized option you see a uh, uh, value field you see symbol field you see color ramp field right now for the color ramp okay let's start from the values now the values is asking us what you want to categorize and remember from the attribute table we said we are categorizing what name underscore one that is the field we want to categorize under our attribute table, right? Good. Then the symbol, that means the color, right? So you just click on it and you can select any color. Okay, most times we love using uh, we love using red, right? So let's just see what that means. So we just click on that. Then the color ramp, that means how the different colors are being generated, right? So if you select any of these um, range of colors, the colors that will be displayed under your categories will now be dependent on any of these um, range of colors right however when you choose random colors you can see that the colors that are coming you don't control them they just come in randomly so for this particular video we want to use what we want to go with the random colors and um, options right so we now click on classify are we together so you just click on classify good now you can see the different states which are different values you can see their legend and then you can see the colors that what represents them right good so now from this particular field or let's say from this particular categorization 
you can decide to turn off some of them turn them on you can even decide to right click and then maybe do some modifications on the colors or do some other stuff right so you can see you can still do some modifications on the colors and still do editing onwards on some of the on some of the values we have under the fields and what under the what under the legend so you can still delete some of the classifications when you click on this what delete right Good. so there are still so many other things you can do we have what the layer rendering we'll go back to where we are going to display different colors but we just want to show you a few things here so these are still some other stuff you can do which is not what or which are not what we want to consider on today's video so upon selecting all of these you can just decide to what apply and you click on what okay right good so you now have your what you now have your your layer categorized having what the categorized them um, symbology now this can also be used in what um, study area mapping yeah study area mapping so maybe you have for let's say in this particular case these are different states in nigeria right so by the time we just um, right click on it and then show labels you can see the names of those states okay the field for the labeling is not the field we need so let's still come to properties good so under properties we can go to labels and instead of using a name underscore zero we are going to use name underscore one because that's actually the field that contains what the names of the states right so we apply and then we click on, on ok right good so you now see what the different states names have been what have been displayed on each of those um, color yeah, each of those colors that we have what in our categorized symbology all right so um, when you are done with the categorization you can see what use the drop down because there's actually a drop down here where you can now see the different categories under what under your layer panel so as we've been telling you earlier you can put them um, some of them off you can put them um, some of them on you can see now upon clicking on that we've actually turned that off okay let's um, look for something central let's look at um, this particular one let's see how that appears you now see Kaduna is off right good now when you click on it again Kaduna is back on right good so these are some other stuff you can still get when you have what your categorization done you can still change the color as you can see you know so you can do so many other stuff as we have um, told you earlier right good so this is how you carry out what categorization So the applications, as we said earlier, is actually enormous. You can actually use it for different stuff you want to use on um, GIS and let's say yeah, using QGIS if you are using this particular software. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we've introduced you to how you can use them, what them categorize symbology in QGIS. So you can still modify each of the colors. You can put them off. You can put them on. There are still so many stuff you can do if you want to. However, for the basic or for the the primary you have actually done what you've actually carried out and um, categorized them um, symbology so thanks for coming to class we are going to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe keep being a good um, GIS analyst and then um, we are going to see you on the next video have a very good time bye